This is the Griffith Observatory. Over there, you can barely see the Hollywood Hills. See what I'm going to do with my camera? I'm going to zoom in. Oh, yeah. I can zoom in to see the Hollywood Hills. The Hills is the same way. Now I zoom out. I'm trying to teach you how to use your camera at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming over here. Okay. And we're walking to the front of the Griffith Observatory over here. And we go like this. And now you can see the sign. It says way in the back, Griffith Observatory. And you're walking on the pavement here. And we're coming up to here. This is where they have all kinds of markers. Over here. I don't know if there's one way in the back though. That might be for Pluto. Okay, this is showing you the dimensions. Do you see those uh, white lights there? Mm -hmm. You see those are white. And then on the opposite side there's a blue. Oh, okay. And that's what we pass by. This we're walking up to the Griffith Observatory. Come this way. Look over here though, you're missing the point. Well, I'm looking at this marker here. What this is, is this, this is the order of Pluto. Understand? Mm -hmm. This is the representation of the orbit of Pluto. Mm -hmm. As we walk further, we come here. And we can see some of the uh, astronomers' monument. We're coming to the astronomers' monument. And here's the orbit of Neptune. Right there. Mm -hmm. There's the orbit of Neptune. And this is the astronomer's monument. And we come around, we see Herschel over there. Right there it says Herschel. And then we come in 1738 to 1822. Then we come Newton. He was 16, understand? And then he was 1642 to 1727. As we pass by, Here's an old form of a sundial. And if it was sunny today, we could see the time. And now we have over here, famous astronomers, we have Kepler. And he was the one who discovered that they were elliptical orbits. And here we have Galileo. He was the one who supposedly had the first telescope. And he was 1564 to 1642. And we come around to Copernicus, because he was close to where Galileo was. And this is where they finally discovered that the sun was the center of our solar system. Okay? Now we continue on, Paul. Okay? Are you doing your video too? Mm -hmm. And then we come to this old-fashioned form of the sundial. It goes like this. Here's all the degrees around of all the time. If the sun was out, we would be able to tell the time. But it's cloudy today. This is my friend Paul. We met a long time ago, and he's in the Air Force just like I am. Do you see my light? It illuminates the things when you move up on somebody. Yeah. So you can take better pictures. Mm -hmm. Understand? You're taking a photograph, I think. I had to, here's the orbit of Uranus. Right down here. What about your anus? This is the orbit of your anus. Not my anus, your anus. You see what I mean? And then we come further. This is a kind of a, a ratio uh, explanation of where the, uh, of the planets of, of, our, uh, of our solar system. Of course, they said that Pluto is not technically a planet anymore. Mm -hmm. It's more like of a, a gold, uh, cold a ball, of like a comet. Mm. And now we come here, and then we finally have the orbit of Saturn. And this is here, very interesting here too. Mm -hmm. Here's the orbit of Saturn. Mm -hmm. And then we come closer up. Then we have the orbit of Jupiter. And Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune are the gas planets. Mm -hmm. And then we finally come to the rocky planets. 
And as it shows here, this is the solar system depicted like this of the inner planets. Is it open? You are here. You understand? Mm -hmm. We go like this, I don't know. And then we come across this. Mm -hmm. This is this is almost like something they sent up into one of our Mercury astronauts. It was almost like this. You are here. I right, that little spot. See, they're showing all these elliptical orbits. And then they're showing out like this. There's the elevator over there. Here's the orbit of Mars, finally. We finally come to the orbit of Mars. And we come to the orbit of Earth, and the orbit of Venus, and this is the orbit of Mercury, and here is our Sun. Okay, isn't that interesting there? Mm -hmm. Now come inside. It's open today. And this is where they have a pendulum. And it shows that it goes every five minutes, it talks over one of these things. As it shows that, uh, so that the Earth is spinning beneath us and it has a pendulum, not an entrance. I've seen people going around the sides. Well, I don't know. I guess we have to go. There's not an entrance? Open up at 12. 12? 12? Yeah. 12? We can go on this side, though? Yeah, the well, I saw people inside of there. Oh, they are from the school. Oh, they're working still. Oh, they're working there from the school. See, we got here too early again. What time is it now? In another 30 minutes. Wow. Then we can go back to our car and smoke some more cigarettes. Yeah, there's two of the people. Look at over there. Mm -hmm. There's a helicopter way over there near the Hollywood sign. Mm -hmm. I might be able to catch it if I zoom in. You might be able to see it. It's classing by the beacon. And then it focuses automatically. Mine thing has the automatic focus. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Yeah. It automatically focuses on things that are important. We go like this. You see where it's trying to focus there? Mm -hmm. It focuses on the Hollywood sign. Mm -hmm. And it gets the correct zoom. And we go like this. I zoom out like this. So it's a regular zoom. Roof entrance, you see. They used to have a display in there, and over on the opposite side, they have a Tesla coil. So, we're here too early. So let's go back to the car, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a smoke. Mm -hmm. And then when we come to 11 o'clock, it'll be open. Okay? Wasn't that very interesting, seeing all these things? See, there, there's a person who has it single lens reflex camera. He's going like this. He's going like that. He's over there. Mm -hmm. I'll zoom in on him. He's doing scale photograph, I guess. He's zooming like this. It's like, he's zooming in like that. He's like he's zooming in the thing. It's a skull. I don't know. He just came from Hollywood, I guess. Some idiotic type person. So I put it on stop. I don't know. I don't see the time right now. So I guess I'll go like this. I'll, put, I'll no. zoom in on that. Now, this is interesting too, Paul. Over here. This shows the Samuel Orchard Planetarium. This is the main thing yes, right here. This is the Samuel Orchard Planetarium. I'm glad you told me. I wouldn't and this is the... I, I'm making a video about it. <laughs> I'm making a video about my idiot friend who's trying to interrupt my movie. And here's a ramp to go to the main level. Here's the Al Aha Amazon's Hall of Exhibits. And here's the Wilder Hall of Exhibits. And this is where I had made a video before. Because this is now my third video that I'll be putting up on YouTube. And right in here is where they have a pendulum that will uh, go like this and that. And this is where they have info and this is where they take tickets. And this is for the men and this is for the women. This is the South Galaxy. And Tuesday, Friday, close Monday, Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. Here's Water of Life at 10.45 a.m. Understand? So they do open up earlier than noontime. Did you see over here? Here's the water is life. 
You see the asterisk there? Mm -hmm. And there they open up before noontime. And then they might have another theater going on. And here's the lights of the carriers. And that's when it was... That's Saturday and Sunday. That's Saturday and Sundays. And this is for Tuesday through Friday. They open up at 12.45. Right now it's only 11.45. And here's the Tesla coil demonstration. And it has a star there. See, the Tesla coil is right over about there, as I remember, as it goes right about there. Uh, there. Okay. Section. So now I'm going to put it. We already stop. saw. Here's again the orbit of Jupiter as one of the gas planets. Right there. Here's the main level. And we're going in. Are we here? And here's all the thing. Steps. And then we're going to watch the pendulum. This is the pendulum. You see here? We'll come over here. <laughs> Here's the pendulum. They have them so it knocks off these things. Right down there. It knocks them off every five minutes. Right down there. I'm going to go over so I can get a better view. Okay. Now it shows it's just past noon as we came in. And it's showing that the pendulum swings in a uniform motion. And it's the actually the turning of the earth that makes the pendulum knock over the other markers. Okay. And then I'm gonna get one of these pamphlets over here. There's a Tesla demonstration on weekdays, okay? And here's where the Tesla demonstration Okay. What? Well, you have to pay to go see the to, to see this. This is the Tesla coil. Okay, here's the Tesla coil. Right here. It's a Tesla coil. And they used to have it way over there, though. But they move everything around. Mm -hmm. Right here. And here, the gamma ray train. And sometimes they come by here and they hold fluorescent tubes up. <laughs> and this is the cosmic reverse. Understand? Gamma rays are the worst of them all because there's a higher fried frequency. Paul, do you see this? This is microwave, like your oven. This is F infrared. And this is visible light. And this is the ultraviolet light that you need to put on sunscreen on. And x-rays are when they take x-rays of your skin. And these are the gamma rays. These are the most highest intensity. And we see up here some more of the, the gamma ray clues. This comes a little bit from the uh, um, Hubble telescope. X-rays 
of high energy. And how they can tell this is because they have, up there, they have Soho. It's a type of a thing. And here we have seen through the Earth's turbulence. Because when you have the atmosphere, it gives you lots of turbulence. And objects appear distorted when they go through the turbulence. And this is why we have something like Hubble telescope that's outside of our atmosphere and breaking into its components. It was Newton, you see, who did something like this. And that's a prism, you see. Mm -hmm. And as it shows you right here, right but you here. can't see very well because it's all white, it's out by my light. And this is the spectrum. This is a star like this, and this is a prism. And this is what they call spectroscopy. When they have the different things absorbed, this is how they can tell what the object is made of. Okay, now... Making new records of what we observe. You see, this is where they're talking about astrology. You see? And this is where they have the little bear, the Ursa Minor and the Ursa Major. And the micrometer. The first instrument used on the telescope. And the photographic camera was a great success. And now we have CCGs. That's what's inside of my camera. This is radio exploration over here. Because radio waves, as like you saw before when we saw a little while back, it was part of the electromagnetic spectrum. These are radio waves, and they tell us more about our solar system too. This is, I think, like the Milky Way. This is like M1 galaxy over here. And this is a video of showing how two galactic galaxies are colliding with each other. And they go like this. And these are all different clusters of galaxies. And there's a spin like that. And then drama that is going to be like There we go. That's pretty neat. Yeah. That's a neat thing. It's a test of getting very hot. Now, you may have also picked up a very nice strange odor in the air a little bit. Ozone. Ozone. Okay, what ozone is what the lightning um, energy source, which is a lightning bolt from this, or an actual lightning bolt from the clouds, ionizes the air, breaks up the molecules, and creates O3, amongst other things. One of those you smell is the O3, or the ozone. Ozone is also a constituent of smog, so that's kind of another reason we don't want to run it too, too much. We don't want to continue already bad quality here in Los Angeles. I want to thank you all for your attention. If you have any questions, uh, please be sure to ask me. This concludes the talk with Joseph Laura. I can enjoy your visits to the Observatory. Those of you who might be the first time to visit, there are three levels to the Observatory. Or on the top level, there are two other levels below. So be sure to explore those. I think you'll want to do that. Jaguar, you've got to stick by me. You can't just go off by yourself. Enjoy your visit. Come this way, then. Wasn't that interesting there? I even got the Tesla coil played out. Now here's a very angle of the pendulum. We're going to be going at the, the uh, thing for the water of life in about um, another few minutes. Isn't that cool? It's a pendulum that swings. And you see, it has the degrees around here, all the way around. We're at the 23rd or the 43rd, 33 and everything. See what I mean? This is very interesting, isn't it though? See, we entered the thing when it's noon time, and then it's swinging a little this way. And seeing it swings, because the inertia of the mass keeps it always going in the point of direction, but this is the direction of the, of the Earth spinning beneath us. And that's why inertia of mass goes in a certain, and that's one of the things from Newton. So we can go over here.
Naja, angehört. Das ist ja.